Okay, this is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, which is a fairly old game, but it was uh, refreshed and re-released this year by Aspire. And there we go, Aspire. And I'm playing it today because there's a sale in the Aspire store Game Agent, so you can buy this game for £1.75. And it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, they, they've uh, upraised the textures, they've made it work in widescreen on, on uh, modern computers. Uh, they've worked with the people who did the restored content mod, which is uh, the thing that, that reactivated a lot of stuff within the game that was cut for the final release in order for them to rush it out in time for Christmas, I think, possibly. Uh, I'm gonna go with this save. Perhaps. Yes, that save. Because uh, then at least I know what's happened. What's happening, and I won't have to pay that much attention. So it's an RPG. You see, you, you have stats. It's uh, basically the same engine as uh, I think Fallout 2, possibly. Well, it's you know the Fallout games, the uh, the Skyrim games. The engine has evolved through all of these, but it's basically the same engine as that. You see this light and dark. So you are a well, I don't know. Escapes Jedi is the word, is the phrase. Uh, and while the 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 battle's been going on, to uh, you know, the Sith have been destroying the Jedi. Uh, you have been quietly minding your own business, hiding away from everybody. Uh, and now. Now you've been discovered by uh, these invisible people and a potentially evil robot. And uh, you're trying to escape with the help of uh, this mysterious woman who you've come across. And if we nip in here, this guy. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? So you saw uh, that light dark thing on the character the character uh, panel. So you, you can choose in this game whether you want to be a good Jedi or a bad Jedi. You can, you can go to the dark side by uh, see this shut up and get out of, the, get out of my way. You, you, if you pick consistently nasty responses you will move uh, towards the dark side. All right. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. So here is the potentially evil robot. I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. So, uh... There we go. You were clear. Clarification. Listen. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Preserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, resulting in the termination of hostilities. So it turns out this droid has killed all the miners on this base, uh, all in an effort to capture you and uh, leave you on a plate to the ship that's just docked. Uh, spoilers. So, Indignant there's usually answer. a Master, lot of dialogue options. Mine is intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. 
After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. So, uh, in the previous few hours of playing this game, I've been through the base and discovered all of those uh, dead bodies and everything. Um, it's usually worthwhile exploring all the dialogue options to find out extra stuff uh, that's useful later on. Uh, voice acting all through, so even though the graphics aren't modern, the voice acting is pretty good. It's uh, worth doing that. I'm going to skip ahead and we're going to ignore these chases and just get to the fighting. And uh, we'll see what happens. Resignation. Probably I'll die. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. So, at the start of any combat, you get to... Uh, you get to choose... Queue up some actions. I'm going to stun that droid. And... Can I activate my energy shield? Yes. Let's do that. Receive the mining laser. Got my shield active. Let's attack him. More where that came from. Attack him some more. Let's try stunning him. Self destroy. Two. Just say the word. Oh. We survived, just about. Let us uh, let us loot the remains. And have all of them. So I've survived some what combat. What is it? This is not the time for questions. They are assassins. And they are responsible for the attack on the Ebon Hawk and the Harbinger. I did not expect them to find us so quickly. We must escape this facility. If we remain here, then we will die. Very well. So there you go. That's uh, most of the game. There's, there's, there's puzzles and other stuff that have not really, uh, you've not really seen as this was going on. Uh, people are healing gradually now. But the, the combat. Uh, ooh, I can level him up. Let's do that. Character level. I'm going to do auto level up on the basis that I don't really know what I'm doing or what what benefits any of these things have. Yeah, you know, I just get in there and play. That's what I do. So we're now we're going to escape the ship. I'm not going to bother videoing any of that though. Uh, you've seen the game. Uh, if you think you might like it, go and check out the Game Agent website and acquire it for £1.75 uh, native, native Linux version. Uh, the Steam key you get will also work for Mac and Windows if you want to get it there. And uh, generally I think this game's a bit of a bargain at that price, uh, so check it out.